my Gemini. We're going to look at your main message here for this uh, new moon in Scorpio. What's going on for you? This is the, the main message. It says, be free, walk away, release, timing autumn. So it could be around this time that you need to walk away from something or it may be if you look back that there was something that you needed to walk away from and this might be a significant time right now for you to finally walk away and release it. So let's have a look at what this is about. I'm going to see what um, what do, what do Gemini's need to give birth to right now. So patience. Patience is something that you guys will be focusing on as well as higher calling. So some of you might be looking up and really needing some guidance from above to be able to um, be patient with yourselves in the journey right now. So this is what you guys are seeking is to have patience. Maybe there's been some confusion about how to walk away, how to be free, how to release things from your life. And and as we know in life, everything is a process. There is a process to everything. So it's about being patient on your journey and having this higher calling. Some of you might even feel that you have a higher calling, that there's a higher purpose for you and that you do need to release yourself, but you need patience in order to do so. Let's see what... Um, what am I looking at right here? What is the best way to connect with this for you? You need to be able to believe, have clarity of belief. This is the sword of truth. Okay, this is the ace of swords usually. So it's the sword of truth. It's clarity coming in. It's being able to see things for what they are. Having this offer of an epiphany coming in for you. So this is the best way is to have clarity of belief. Believe in the higher purpose. Believe in what you need to do. Believe that you can face your fears. Believe that you can let go with grace. That's amazing. So what... What is your self-sabotaging energy, Gemini? So Page of Cups, there's a self-reflection period going on. And the Judgment card reversed shows that you might feel like you're stuck in the past. You might be having issues in breaking free and walking away from something. Um, and the Sun is the positive, optimistic, expansive energy here. It's illuminating that for you. Um, so sometimes you might feel that you're... In a little bit of denial, it might be wishy-washy. It might be that you're just trying to uh, focus on en on anything but having to deal with this right now. And this is what this is about, saying face your fears, let go with grace. You know, know that you can believe in yourself, that you can move away from a situation. Um, it could be something that has been... Um, well, it could be a physical situation. You might be locked in a job you don't want to be in. It could be a relationship. It could be just your own fears. It might just be in your mind space. You might be trapping yourself into something. It might be stuff that you haven't let go of for a long time that's playing on your mind and affecting your life now. And it's saying that, you know, in ways that you self-sabotage is by being stuck in the past and not growing in this you're not allowing yourself to grow through facing it and letting it go okay so there is that ability to sometimes just see the good in everything and look outwardly um, instead of within and being able to realize that okay I need to I need to be able to work through this I need to be able to face this and yeah face it and Face your fears and let go with grace and just trust in the process. Once again, it is going to take patience. It doesn't have to be just a clean cut. For some of you, it's not going to be that. It is going to require patience and a step-by-step -step process to do it, but it needs to be done. A lot of you know this already. How can you transform this? <laughs> Transformation. We've got the phoenix here, guys. A fresh new way of living emerges. So if you're able to face your fears and let go with grace and realize what you're doing that self-sabotages that, you have a fresh new way of living. And the phoenix is always the one that goes through the whole, oh my God, they have a huge bloody burden. They go through immense battles and challenges. They go through the fire. You know, it's like, um, almost like a, I said, I don't know why I'm seeing it this way, but it's like a crashing and burning and then rising up again, rising from the ashes. It's that transformation, which you guys can do. So what is your temporary outcome? Well, we've got balance, which is temperance. This is the Sagittarius energy. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, um, but this is the duality too for the Gemini, the, ma the masculine, the feminine, 
Um, we've got balance here, so it's about tempering the energies. It's about achieving. Um, well, look, confronting. You're going to be able to confront things and reach balance within yourself. And it's more than just balance, though. It's a feeling of, once again, being free. It's like you have confronted something. You're able to have um, peace or what I say, make peace with a situation. You can make peace with one now by confronting this, knowing that you've faced your fears and it's probably not even as scary as you thought. Sometimes it can be a paper tiger. So let's have a look at um, what else I need to see here. Hang on. Yeah, because you're wanting to achieve a higher purpose now. You're being stuck in a path that you just haven't felt like you're growing in. Um, so you need to be able to face your fears um, and be able to allow the past to go, allow your past judgments of your own self to, to go. You know, it's, it's hard to do that sometimes, but you can achieve this balance. You can achieve this flow of energy in your life if you do these things. So I hope that's helped. Hi, Libra. We're going to be having a look at where you're at this new moon in Scorpio. Let's start with your main theme. So we've got yes, be positive, a huge yes right here. And the timing is now. So you have to be positive now, guys. <laughs> Some of you might be, you know, this is the main theme here. It might be reminding you to be, or it might be that you really are in a good place within yourselves right now. Let's have a look at the other cards. So what do you want to give birth to this new moon? Nourishment. This is beautiful. So obviously it's about taking care of oneself or of a situation. Sorry, that's my cat <laughs> going mad. So it's about taking care of oneself or of a situation. Uh, we'll have a look at the other card because two came out. So self-love. This is beautiful and makes so much sense now. So nourishment of yourself, loving yourself, taking care of yourself. Um, you know, you've got to give yourself an abundance of care. And maybe it's because you haven't. Maybe there's a, been a situation where you just haven't been able to pay much attention to yourself um, or you haven't put yourself first. So let's have a look here. Maybe you felt really drained or allowed others to drain you of your energy also because we do have nourishment which gives you life. It gives you energy. So let's have... So the other card that came out with this is Surrender to the Lessons. So there's definitely been something for you guys that has perhaps shaken you or drained you of your energy or made you have self-doubt, you know, doubting yourself, um, doubting your decisions, doubting your body image, doubting who you are as a person, what you've got to give, was it accepted, you know, to the world, this kind of thing's going on here. So there is a lesson in this or there was a lesson in this for you and what you want to give birth to is being able to now look after yourself, take care of you and, you know, take the lessons from the past and transform it into, as we see here, a positive. So let's have a look at what best way is, what best way is for you to reconnect? What best way can you connect to this energy? So manifest, paying attention to um, bringing things into reality. So what you perceive or what you think, what you feel, what you want to visualize you know, that's what you've got to do is visualize. That's what you've got to best do to reconnect with this energy here is to really focus on this, to manifest it into your life, bring it into form. And what we see with this is question loyalty, which is so interesting because this is about discernment. This is part of nourishing yourself and self-love is uh, keeping an eye on who you're bringing into your world who might, you know, sabotage this for you or who may bring this into life for you as well? Who may support you in this journey of nourishment and self-love? Um, because it may be that, you know, when we saw something from the past happening, that there was questions around loyalty in your circles of friendships, your family uh, could be work related, you know, whatever it is. There's been something that's come in to make you feel bad about yourself. And so... Um, this is definitely something you need to do is bring this into form, manifest yourself. You're going to become stronger in this. Questioning loyalty is very important here as well. Now, how are you self-sabotaging uh, being positive? <clears throat> the high priestess is the Pisces energy. So it could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. I'm pretty sure the magician is Mars, um, which is Aries, I think. So I think that's what that one is. 
But the high priestess is all about observing from the shadows. She's the intuitive one. And it's also to do with the moon energy. So it's receptive and it's going through cycles. And I feel like for some of you that you don't always trust in your intuition. You don't go with your gut instincts, even though you know, because you're quite in tune, uh, what you need to do. Now, the five of pentacles is someone who feels left out in the cold. They feel rejected. This is something that you may be subconsciously um you know, being it, you know, you know, um, what I'm saying is self, self consciously, because there's a self conscious thing going on here about being rejected, but also subconsciously, um, a feeling of not being good enough, not being accepted. So you may sabotage things and may not necessarily go by your intuition, um, in certain situations. So maybe that's where it's gotten you is that you did put too much trust into a situation or somebody and they've rejected you or have treated you wrongly, even though you knew deep down in your gut that it wasn't, they weren't being loyal to you. You know, this is what this is about here. Let's see how we can transform this energy. So it's unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. And we've got the wisdom of the owl here as well. And this person's going on a journey. They've got no idea where they're going. But sometimes the bird can be communication or a messenger. So paying attention to the higher realms or your higher self or your inner guidance as well, which is what the high priestess is all about here. You are exactly where you're meant to be. So it's not about trying to um, avoid this uh, if it is a conflict. It's not about uh, avoiding it as such um, or even being in denial or forgetting about it even. Your, your feelings are valid. But it's about saying, you know what, you are exactly where you're meant to be um, right now on this path. This is a lesson for you um, and you have a chance to be able to, ch you know, tune in and tap into your intuition and give yourself the love and the care that you deserve in this situation um, and allowing this trust to come in that you will be wherever you are meant to be as well. And whatever will unfold is meant to, but at the moment, it's about just taking care of yourself. Now, the temporary outcome, which, which was this one first, success and growth. This is beautiful because this is fast energy. This is this is about you moving into this place of um, solitude. This is the hermit card, which is the Virgo energy. So, you know, this is somebody who has to go within. We once once again got the birds here of communication. It's that throat chakra. And, you know, it's very fast of being able to withdraw from the world, retreat and go within to seek that higher wisdom. Once again, the owl is the higher wisdom, the intuition from the high priestess. So some of you guys may be a little bit confused about loyalty in a connection. Maybe you're still questioning whether someone is loyal. Um, you know, that kind of thing. You, you're advised to trust in your own instincts and not always see people at face value and um, you know, take them at face value. You've got to be able to look within um, and weigh it up, guys. You are the liberant. So going within, seeking that quiet, uh, seeking answers from a higher place within yourself. It's almost like a spiritual quest that you've got to go within. And this is where growth comes in as well, surrendering to the lessons and growing and learning from this. But it will take some patience, okay? So it will take some patience um, to, you know, this is going to be a bit of a journey to um, go within and just take some time out and work out what you're feeling, what you're seeing around a situation and, and who's being true to you and who's not trusting in your gut. Um, and truths can be revealed to you in this time, in this space as well. So it's just going to take some patience. But, you know, you're going to be positive around this. If you're able to do these things, you can achieve that. Um, being positive or trying to be throughout the process and the nourishment and self-love can come in and everything will unfold as it's meant to. So I hope that's helped you. Hi Aquarius, we're going to be looking at your um, star sign, your area of your life, uh, where you need to be in this new moon in Scorpio. Let's have a look at your main theme. Wow, so we've got travel, moving on, take flight. This is beautiful. So for some of you, you may be literally getting on a plane and going somewhere. 
or it could just be that there's a project taking off, you know, you're taking off in some area of your life, could be a relationship, could be uh, family stuff going on, it could be money, you know, this kind of stuff. You're moving on from something, you're taking flight, um, yeah, moving on, it's really awesome. So it's like an expansion of energy here too, um, free-spirited, that's what you guys are. So let's have a look at what you want to give birth to, this new moon, and we've got growth. You guys want to see something not only take off, but you want to see it grow. And you want to be able to see it in the physical world, um, growing into something beautiful and magical even. Something that's just maybe even your own creation. Something that you want to really see take off and, and grow and expand and be successful. And this could be um, a project that you're working on. It could be, as I said, career related that kind of thing. It could be a relationship. Let's have a look further. Ha. So it says almost there, which is so interesting because you see this woman here, she's looking out into the horizon and she's at this cliff face right here. So she's looking out at the horizon and she's sort of looking out at, you know, it's a wide view here. It's a wide view. So she's not narrow-minded or anything. She's looking out into the horizon. And this is what you guys are about, being able to see something from this standpoint from a higher perspective and that's what this is happening for you is that you want to expand your ideas you want to grow in life you don't want to just stay stuck you want to actually succeed and get things moving and happening and bring life to things so let's see what uh how you can connect with this okay so how you can connect with this is through your heart chakra it's that passion it's that love for something and the next card with this one <laughs> is Messenger. So you can't really see it. I created these cards, but you can't really see it. It's a crow there. Um, and it's talking about message, messages coming through. So it's about listening to your heart for the call, for the message coming in. Um, to follow your heart where it needs to go. That's the best way for you to be able to receive this growth in your life and know that you are on your way. Now, well, how are you self-sabotaging? Uh, self so we see strength card here, which is the Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo or it's just the energy coming through. We've got the sunflowers, which represent hope. And um, I don't know why I was going to say charity. That's bizarre. But that's what's coming through. And it usually represents hope and happiness. It's optimism, that kind of thing. But it's interesting, I'm seeing charity with that as well. So it's almost like... Um, you guys, obviously, it doesn't, it does make sense because you guys being the Aquarians do bring hope into the world and into other people's lives. And there is a, a, a need for transformation for healing. So that makes a lot of sense there. But sometimes you guys may sabotage this. You might be too busy looking outwards, um, at how you can make the world a better place, but sometimes not have the strength to look after yourselves. And so we've got the Four of Cups, which can represent boredom and stagnancy. Um, and it's about being, you know, having opportunities being presented to you, but not necessarily having the strength or the courage to take them on. So that's where this may come from, is that you really want to grow in this now. You want to keep moving. You don't want to be stunted in your growth because of these issues. So let's have a look at how you can transform this energy. <laughs> so fogged in go slow take time it's so interesting because we're seeing her looking out to the horizon and yes it's cloudy but there's still sunlight here and she can see and then we've got the plane moving towards this beautiful you know clearer skies the sun's shining here and then we get fogged in <laughs> okay so it's interesting isn't it the theme is about taking off taking flight seeing everything wanting to grow wanting to get there but at the moment you might feel fogged in and it might be because of these issues here of feeling that you're stuck and that you don't have the courage to move through but the transforming energy is to be patient through this time so go slow take time knowing that you don't have to rush and get there right now so the tra uh, temporary outcome it's so interesting because this is the same card as this one, <laughs> Four of Cups, but it's so cool. It's really cool because the temporary outcome shows that you're going to take the opportunity. You know, this is what it is. There's an opportunity of a lifetime coming to you guys. You're going to take it. 
if you are able to do this, you're going to take it. And for some of you, it's going to be career related. It's going to be study projects, that kind of thing. Um, there might be stuff that you're researching in your life as well. And taking flight with this. Some of you might be writing a book. You know, some of you may uh, want to publish something. You might want to write a book. Could be that you're researching something, going into a course, going into uni, whatever it is. There's this opportunity for you guys to expand your life, to grow. We've got growth with the trees here. You know, it's green. It's growing. It's blossoming. So this is amazing. This is what you can do if you're just patient and just allow the fog to come in. Allow that process of not being able to see into the future for now. And then, you know, listen to your heart. Let your heart follow you and guide you the way rather than being so in your mind because you are the airheads guys like this is <laughs> I say that in a loving way <laughs> but this is what it is you guys are the air sign sometimes can be called the airheads you're too much in your in your head so it's about coming down back down to earth and grounding yourself a little bit but following your heart space following where your heart's leading you in this which is just amazing some of you might even travel overseas to learn about a culture see study so there's lots of opportunities coming your way. You've just got to take these steps to get there, okay? So I hope that's helped you.